Hey fam, what's going on? So we, Sorry about the noise. We over here on post and by the post office. Yeah, so we're trying to send Kobe his birthday presents right now. I, I promise you, the post office is charging too much money, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're trying to fit all of this mm -hmm. into this little box. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna make it happen. Watch. They said she's gonna make it happen, fam. So I got faith in her. I got trust in her. They say if you can squeeze it. Twenty-two dollars, right? Yeah, they say if you can squeeze it into a box, it's a flat rate of twenty-two dollars into one of their flat rate boxes. So I'm gonna put the shoes in first. There you go. Oh, your girl gotta work her magic. So we got the shoes down in there. Now look at look at this cute little coat <laughs> for my cold stir. Isn't that cute? All right, so. Perfect. And then we got him this little outfit. Got him a Paw Patrol shirt. Don't play with her. She got this. <laughs> I got him a little date outfit if he wants to go to a party or something. Oh, he got some casual wear. Casual wear. Because he gets wear. invited to a dinner party or something. Not dinner party, but you know kids get invited to birthday parties all the time. Oh, they had this cute little Adidas jogging outfit. I got him that. Y'all, we only got three more pieces to go. We might be able to do this. Got him another little jogging outfit. I think this had like an airplane on it. Oh, we did it. This is the last outfit, Mr. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> okay. And we did it, player. Hey, they said as long as we can get it in here, right? Yep, if you can get it closed. Good morning, guys. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, if you're new, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> Stay a while. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on your way in. Also, turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. I'm Piggy. And this is Don. Hey, DJ like that is DJ. DJ is in the back. So we're just opening up Sunday's vlog. Today is actually Friday. And y'all know what we're doing. We're running errands. So I had to pack up baby Kobe's uh, birthday the items so that he'll get them early. You know, I didn't want to wait till the last minute because people are going to get ready to start mailing out Christmas stuff soon. And, you know, you got Black Friday sales and stuff like that. So the mail is going to be backed up a little bit. But anyway, uh, we just left the post office. So there was one thing checked off Check. the list. And so we have three more things to do today just to get things going. Mm -hmm. We're heading off post and guess what? We thought we were. Guess what, fam? Yeah. So. If you see the traffic behind us, it might look familiar. We had yeah. a totally different gate. So we'll come out the same gate we saw last time and just verify that both gates were doing the same thing. We decided to come down to this other gate. Sure enough. It's also closed. And it's at lunchtime. It's 11.30. I guess they have to do it when it's... Like, you can't complain about it, but you can. Because yeah. I'm kind of over this, but these exercises that they're doing is supposed to be over on tomorrow. So yeah. on tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that I am not doing anything where I need to go <laughs> off post. Yeah, we're not leaving tomorrow. Because this is ridiculous. Like, I got stuff to do. Now, what if I had a doctor's appointment? But I guess they figure, hey, you should have got your butt up. And out a long time ago. Oh, it's open. It's open. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so we were only 10 minutes there and maybe 10 minutes here. So that's good. So now that's open. That's done. Yes. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling because I just didn't feel like waiting. I'm just like, we, we could turn around and go back to the RV. Yeah, this we time we could have turned around. We wasn't so far up in the front. But this time, hey, yeah. we came in at a good time. 
I know the one thing that we have to do is, I, I keep calling it a shelter, but it's not boarding. a shelter, it's for boarding, doggy boarding. And like I said, we found this really good place and we've requested online, right, but nobody's responding. Yeah. And maybe it's because they're too busy or whatever else. But I'm telling Donald, I think we need to do it because people will be going in and out of town at the time that we're going to be going. And we don't want the place to be booked and busy. Now, some of these places will, uh, they charge upwards of $60 a day. Yeah. And Donald was like, well, this one place has cameras and she, you can see what your dog is doing at any time of the day and yada, yada, yada. I'm like, well, shoot, that's $600. That's almost more <laughs> than the cruise. <laughs> we should have just took them on a cruise with us. <laughs> hey. Nah, we don't need that camera out because I know that might be a distraction during my vacation. Cause you know I'll be checking my phone and checking my camera, yeah. see what see what he's doing. And if I look and he's looking all sad or something, it's gonna make me feel bad. Because so. our friend told us that him and his wife put the doggy in one of those places and when they looked in, it kind of ruined their trip because they was like, he doesn't look happy anymore. He doesn't look happy. And so I, that's something I definitely don't want. But if we have to, that's the one that we'll go with. Because yeah. this lady says she has a ton of openings and stuff like that. And plus, and she, she said, the, you know, DJ is a, he's a dog player. He likes to play with other dogs. Yeah. And so she said she groups the dogs together based on their uh, demeanor or something like that. Yeah. They go play together, doing from one to two. He'll be playing with these dogs. And from two to three, these other dogs be out there playing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she got a real nice little system, I think. But I would like to get them at least one night there before we head out, like Peggy said. Yeah, so, so we're going to we're gonna put them in next week. I think we're going to probably put them in like midweek no okay because i know this sounds bad but we want to go see uh <laughs> wakanda we want to go see the black panther we want to go see the black panther so one day next week when we want to just hang out and have a date day <laughs> that's sad but that's we're, gonna, sad about that. we're gonna put dj in and we're gonna have us a, a fun day right yeah. and then we'll go pick him up that next morning when it opens and see how that goes so we're gonna take you along with us so i think that'll be in next wednesday's video so look for that but uh yeah i just we just have to do it Par parents need breaks i remember when, when, when we deployed they had this little system where one mother would take care of somebody else's kids for a day so that lady can get a break and then another day she would do the same kind of thing because you know sometimes parents need a break Oh, well, they had also in place where uh, the Child Development Center would give them so many free hours yes. for the month. So, like, they would give you, I want to say, like, 12 free hours, and you could break that up however you needed to break it up okay. for the month. And so, I mean, 12 hours don't seem like a lot for a month, but that's a whole day. Yeah, you can go get you a three or four hour thing three days, three different days, so. Yeah, but... I mean, we don't have anybody to share it with DJ because, like I say, it'll be cheaper to fly my daughter here to watch <laughs> DJ than to put him in the $60 a day. Hey, what's going on, fam? So I am back at the RV, and I think it's time for me to do a little bit of RV maintenance. Um, it is easy to let the outside get real junky, you know, we be cooking out here, got the Blackstone, co not covered up very nice. Every once in a while, you know, the wind blows the rug and the tent all over the place and we got stuff under the RV. You just gotta, gotta maintain a little bit. And as y'all know, Peggy takes care of the inside, I take care of the outside, including the black tanks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and try to just, you know, sweep up. It's not, it's not very messy, I don't think. But I want to make sure it still looks neat and everything because this is our home for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and uh, I'll see you after that. All right, fam.
Hey guys, welcome back. It is the next day. Or a couple days later at A least. couple days later. We, we, a couple it's days hard later. to keep track, fam. That's it all really I can say. Is. It, it's been chilly out here in these RV streets. At least in the morning times. At least. Listen, again, your girl not complaining. But your neighbor can really alter your RV experience. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say that. So we have some new neighbors, and hopefully they don't see this down the line. But if they do, <laughs> oh well. So I kept telling Donald, I'm like, somebody is running their generator yeah. all night, and it's so loud I can't sleep. I'm a very light sleeper. I think most moms are like that because you listen out for your children and stuff like that. Not saying everybody, but some. And I'm a very light sleeper. Doesn't take anything to wake me up. So, I mean, it kept coming on every hour after hour after hour. It's their AC. It's their heating. It's their unit. heating system. They got a very loud heating system. And this one is different because it's on what we call the curb side. It's on the side that faces us. Yeah. And so it sounds Listen, like a diesel generator. It's, it is. But Donald sleeps through it. I don't know how he does it. Yeah. But, I, you know, being in the military, he had to sleep through a lot exactly. worse. We slept next to generators and everything <laughs> so else. It so it doesn't bother him. But let me just tell you, for your girl, it's rough. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking that they borrowed the RV because somebody dropped it off. Yeah. And they have a car. Like I said, I hope they never see this video, but we ain't gonna say no that. Well, we no, don't know. It's not that negative. That. It's just saying it's a pretty dang loud. But they they don't really system. understand the space, and I, it could just alter the way you feel about. Because over here we were good. I feel like it needs a little work done to it, yeah. but it is just very irritating. As soon as I fall asleep. And I'm like, oh my god! I've never heard a heating system that loud, and I thought it would go away as the night progressed. But every time it came on, I guess it was still just as loud. I heard it this morning because it was 41 degrees this morning, so I heard it again. But yeah, so I don't know how long they're here, but I'm gonna be friendly enough to go over and say, hey, how you guys liking it? How long are you gonna be here? And if they tell me they're gonna be here for a week or so, we're moving. Because I can't sleep. I don't want to sleep during the day while they up at. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's 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 really inconvenient. Yeah. And I need my sleep. Your girl gotta have her sleep. And my sleep had just gotten better because of what we're doing, right? Yeah. Like I'm sleeping through the night. I haven't done that in a long time. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Give me some suggestions down in the. <laughs> comment section. I know you guys have dealt with this before, but really it's out of their hands. There's nothing they could do. If yeah. that's their system, it's just the system. Maybe I could just drown it out, but the place gets so quiet at night. Yeah. Like that's the thing I like about RV for most of them, if it's not a party going on. But for regular day-to-day -day living, you could hear a pin drop at night. That's yeah. how quiet it is. Like you could hear the highway traffic. That's how quiet it is. And I like that. That's why I say I get the best sleep. I had to even shut my window last night. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to run over to the mall. And I'm going to grab some things. Because today we're going to make uh, stuffed bell peppers. Stuffed bell peppers. Donald actually loves a good stuffed bell I'm pepper. I'm telling you right now. I'm like I'm like so-and-so on rice and stuff like that. But when you've been on this restrictive low-carb and low-cal diet and stuff. It's just the idea that... I'm going to give you some rice. I'm going to give you some Italian sausage. I'm going to give you some cheese and tomato sauce. Gee, you giving the whole recipe. <laughs> it's just, the idea just, it just perks me up, fam. Yeah. So it's going to be a good day for me. It's going to be a great day for both of us because I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, we're going to have our peppers today. And uh, I've, I've started decorating a little bit. I'm not right. I'm not happy with what I've come up with, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Donna was like, you are never just going to She's be happy. never happy with her decoration. They, they can wants to increase those decorations. She's like, ooh, this, this leaf is turned the other way, and this ball should be all the balls are to the top here, and these are twisted that way. And so I, we, we make adjustments, and she's she's our, she's our harshest critic when it comes to decoration. Donna will hate her. But that's anyway, fine. fam. Maybe that's the definition. Right? Uh, anyway, fam, we want to say a 
happy belated. I don't know if you say happy Veterans Day. You do or say happy Veterans Day to the veterans happy, out there. And, okay, uh, so I want to say happy. Vet, we want to recognize all of our veterans. I don't want to shout out names because I know for we will miss somebody. For, we will miss somebody. But for the for everybody that has served this country, we appreciate it. We thank you for our freedom. I thank my honey bunny as well. Thank you Such a good kid. Like my son was like, what are you guys doing right now? And we were like, nothing. He was like, let me treat y'all to lunch. Even though these other places were having free pancake breakfasts and lunch. And I was telling people, I'm like, you know, they do offer that, but we never uh, partake in it. Because try going to those places in a military town. You oh, ain't gonna get in. Yeah. Now, if you somewhere like where we used to live, St. Louis or, or places like that, you could probably get in a free meal or something. But uh, we we really not into searching out for that kind of thing. But I will take my military discount wherever well, I go. Exactly. I will take that anytime exactly. they anytime they offer it. Your girl gonna take it. <laughs> but anyway, fam, we will talk to you in the next clip. All right, fam. All right. Hey, what's going on, fam? We are back. We are back. And as you can see, we're in the kitchen. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make for y'all one of my special dishes, right? That's a joke, of course. You do not want me cooking. <laughs> That's not true. Peggy <laughs> no. don't want me cooking, y'all. She always said, I love when you cook. You can cook That's, all you want. That is not true, fam. Don't believe a word. I, uh, that is that not is the case. That is not true, fam. But anyway, guys, welcome back. We are making dinner right now. We just had an amazing time. We met up with Bressy and her husband. Gary. Gary. Beautiful couple. Beautiful Man. couple. We talked so long. The time just went... <laughs> the time went by super fast. And we just love them to death. They are so sweet. That was really cool. So we're going to see them again before we leave the area. Tonight we're going to have one of my favorite meals. We just haven't had it in a while. But we're going to have stuffed bell peppers. So we thought, why not come in, cook, and talk with the fam, see how things are going. Right? Go. So I'm going to go over all the ingredients and everything. So right now I have two pots of water boiling. Okay. One pot is going to be for the rice because... Now, when I make it, you can use regular rice, but I'm going to use brown rice for today's sake. Plus, we're trying to be a little healthy. Yeah, so, good. we're going to have brown rice. The fiber is good to keep your system yeah. good. So, let's uh, point down here okay. a bit. All right, so I have some mozzarella. Mm -hmm. I have meat sauce. Mm -hmm. I have sweet Italian sausage. I have bell peppers. And I have the brown rice. There you go. All right. Normally I get this not in links, but they didn't have any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the meat out of the links so that we could just fry it up plain. Okay. So while my meat is sauteing or cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and cut my bell peppers in half. Now most people use the whole bell pepper, but I like to do mine in half, right? And so I'm going to boil them until they're kind of tender, so about maybe five minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead, I've already washed them, and I'm just going to cut them.
I'm going to rinse these off again and then I'm going to put them in boiling water. I know what y'all thinking. She done cooked that meat and didn't put no seasoning on it. You know your girl forgot. So I'm going to put a little pepper. Okay. A little garlic powder. A little salt. All right, fam, so we got three things going. We got our bell peppers, we got the rice back there cooking, and we have the meat, right? So I'll come back when I'm ready to bring it all together. All right, fam. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of sugar to knock the tanginess from the tomato sauce off of it. Remember that rice we had? Go ahead and add that in. So Donald does not like his peppers to be firm at all, so I boiled them for maybe 15 minutes. And so now we're gonna go ahead and load the peppers, put them in the oven, they'll be done when the cheese is melted because everything else is already cooked. All right, fam, so let's go ahead and load them up. So I think this is like our first or maybe second time using this oven, but I don't know what I was thinking because I was like, you can't cook anything big in this oven, but in all actuality, I can really make a bunt cake in here. So I will go ahead and share my rum cake recipe with you guys. I'm going to do it like a couple days before Thanksgiving because I like to let my rum, my, the rum and the cake sit up and be all sopped up, sopped up with the liquor right so we're gonna go ahead and do a rum cake video and donald was like that oven is big enough to put a turkey and i was like what was i think i don't know what i was thinking fam but as you saw when i put the food in there it is actually big enough to do some things so we might have us a nice thanksgiving there you after go, all. Baby. i just hate it because donald is going to 
if I don't pass the rum cake out, we're not going to eat it anymore. And I'm not, listen, I'm not freezing it. I'm not doing any of that. But thank you guys for the suggestion. But anyway, fam, this tastes really good. I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Um, your taste buds might be different from mine. So before you stuff it, make sure you taste your stuffing. You want to taste the... Uh, that Italian, sweet Italian sausage just has a really good flavor of its own. And I don't season it a lot because that meat is already seasoned. It's really, really good. You don't really have to do much to sweet Italian sausage. At least I don't. I don't feel like you do. But anyway, when you put your uh, tomato, when you put your tomato sauce on there, and then when you put your uh, rice in there, you're going to have to re-season it because it's going to throw everything off. So, you know, add a tablespoon of, I'm, I'm, people get upset when you put sugar in red sauce but yeah so I put some in my red sauce and it is seasoned perfectly I got the sugar to knock off some of the tanginess from the tomato paste and everything or from the tomato sauce and it tastes really really good Donald is impatient I told him already all you have to do is wait for the cheese to melt and you have yourself a nice dinner. There you go. I, I can do it. I'm going to take DJ out. I don't want to think. I don't want to smell it because the smell is just permeating. Yeah. My it, olfactory gland. Yeah. I don't know which one to use the word of the day. Permeate or olfactory, but I am salivating. So yeah. I'm going to get out of the RV before I, before I do something I ain't supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> All right, fam. So we will see you in the next clip, fam. All right, fam, pulled him out of the oven. Okay, so we've pulled down a one. Uh, he almost broke his thumb trying to get over it. <laughs> Slow down, player. So, here you go, player. Hey, what's so, going on? What's going on? So I got my stuffed pepper. See, I like having the, the, the pepper soft. Peggy originally made it like she started off baking raw and kind of thing. It was just like a, a crunchy salad around my No, stuff. I didn't bake it raw. I just didn't boil it enough to get it tender. Yeah. So I got a little bit of pepper. I got a little bit of sausage, the cheese, the rice. I got a little bit of everything on this spoon, on this fork full. There you go. I'm taller than Peggy. There you go. I don't know if it's because I'm on a special diet or whatever it is, but this is fantastic. This is absolutely delicious. It tastes as good as a pizza. It tastes as good as a lasagna without all that pasta carbs. I'm extremely happy. Extremely happy. So can I get two of these or do I have to only eat one tonight? That's up to you, player. Alright, so Mikey likes it. Okay, Mikey. Would. That is some good stuff. <laughs> Alright, fam. So we're gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy our dinner and we'll see you in the next clip. Alright, fam. Alrighty. Hey, how's it going, fam? Don here, waiting in the truck with DJ like I normally do. Um so I wanna start off start off by saying this. Today is November the eleventh. Friday, November the 11th, 2022. It's Veterans Day. So I want to start off by thanking all my brothers and sisters in arms who served in the military honorably. It doesn't matter whether you're Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, whether you was in the Reserves, National Guard, whatever the capacity, if you served honorably, today is your day and you should be committed and I thank you for it. Now, most of y'all know that I also served in the United States Army. I did almost... 26 years in the army i'm only 51 years old so what that boils down to i spent more than half my life in the united states army and i think that had a huge role in molding me into the person that i am today and i'm proud of that of course a lot of that credit goes to my mother my father my family members those who i came in contact with my teachers in school who encouraged me and everything like that but i just feel like the military had a huge role and helping me become a person that I am proud of. And I don't feel bad about saying that. And that's why, I guess that's why I wanted to talk about. Uh, there was a time when 
I didn't post anything on Veterans Day because I felt like it was a lack of humility. Like I was trying to draw attention to myself. Uh, and then, you know, I saw posts that said, oh, here it comes, Veterans Day tomorrow. So expect that whole big green wave of, <laughs> of all these guys posting their veteran pictures and stuff like that. And so I didn't want to be a part of that. And I thought about that. I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, that's that's dumb. You share with with your friends and family and those who know you. You share what you're proud of. People post pictures of the of their cars. People post pictures of their living room, of their shoes, of their children, especially. People post pictures of their dog. People post pictures of themselves working out in the gym. People post basically everything. People post pictures of their food that they made. So if they feel happy about it and proud about it, they want to share it. So why should I and why should we not stand up and take a bow basically on a day that's been set aside to do so? Does it sound, does it sound like a brag? I, I wanted to say it isn't, but guess what? It is. I was in deployment zones for a combined three years plus. I took over 200 soldiers who were under my care into combat zones and brought them all back. That by itself is one of the, the, the proudest parts of my military service. I am very, very proud of it and I'm gonna continue to be proud of it. I've met some fantastic people of all races, of all religions, of all kinds of backgrounds. And I consider them my brothers and sisters. I've been invited into homes. I've been on vacations with them. I have shared stories and I've sh shared sad stories and we shared happy stories and we've leaned on each other, especially during combat deployments and everything. When we're away from our family, this is the only, at many times, these were the only family members we had, our brothers and sisters in arms. So we leaned on them and we created long-term relationships. So now that I'm retired, my relationship with the military is not over. Obviously, Peggy and I, we stay on a lot of military bases as we travel across this country in our RV. And like I said, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do a commercial for the United States Army or the military in general. I'm not trying to say it's for everyone. For some people, military service doesn't fit. For some other people, three years, four years and get out and go do something else. Also a great thing. So, but like I said, it's Veterans Day. And if you are a veteran, you should be proud. I just want to thank you for your service. That being said, <laughs> here's a little bit of DJ. All right, fam. Oregano. <laughs> Let you down, let you down I'm your 